I had a shit Saturday night. So after the game, I went to a bar to watch the Spurs lose 3-1. I had oh. a few more uh, beers to drown down, but uh, I called Saturday night the adventures of little Boris. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but uh, that, that's, I'm going off topic, but uh, let's get into Adam Simpson's West Coast. <laughs> oh. um, he might need to fire up the boys with a, with a video a video soon. Um is okay. No injury talk. Like let's let's just cut that out. No injury mm, talk. Mm, mm, mm. Injury. <laughs> what the, we can't what, talk about it. There, there was injuries though. We, no, no, we'll, injury. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about some of their injuries, but no real. We won't waffle on the injury talk. Is this the worst? Almost the worst side to compete in the last twenty years. I was going to say I, I, I'm off the. I defended Adam Simpson. I, I said that Adam Sims is a premiership coach. He deserves a bit of tenure. He deserves to have his own, to make the call himself, to go, you know, I'm not the coach for this or whatever, but it's getting to a point. Uh, they need to review, review this shit because that was fucking embarrassing. Oh, so t- I'm just going to quickly read it. 2010, right. 20, 2010, 142, played 4 2, 26, <laughs> Hawthorne by 116, second yeah. bottom of the ladder destroys bottom of the ladder. <laughs> I mean, like, how can... like I understand that, you know, at the end of the day, it falls on the coach, but they just don't care. They just play with no heart or effort. It's just... What was it? Gaffy was getting roasted, and I was absolutely loving every second of it. Um... And they show this footage of he's got, I think, what, three players in the forward 50? And yep. he elects, instead of kicking it forward, to go sideways. So, <laughs> apparently, here's a result. Here's something for you. It's just a just a stat, since I since we love throwing a stat out. For, they only transitioned four times out of defense into their forward half for the game. Four times they could get it out of their for- defensive half and get it into the forward half. That is Man. the AF- basically the AFL average for that is is twenty one percent. They were going at eight. They went at eight percent for the whole game. They, they are the, they're the worst ball users in the comp. They're the slowest team in the comp. Uh, keep Simpson on. I'm going to enjoy these eight points every year for the next four years. <laughs> It's it's absolutely it's it's we use the word diabolical <laughs> would be a word uh, atrocious, disgusting, uh, deliciously evil. If it's, I was if if Carlito was an AFL fan, he would spit on the ground. Dude, if Brian Alvarez reviewed AFL matches, you would have you would do you want to say it? You you, you who doesn't who wants to say it? I, I want to say this in more of a Jeff Hardy v Sting manner. Just minus five stars. It's a rare performance that gets you minus five stars. One fucking mark inside 50. And I saw it. It was Oscar Allen on his ass in the goal square. And that was it. Did he get his one goal? He got one goal. He didn't kick two, just one. Uh, year ruined. He's ruined. Year is ruined. It's fucking hell. 40, plus 41 inside 50. Uh, plus 133 disposals. If you uh, look let- at the worm for this game, it literally just goes... Uh... <laughs> There's no comeback. There's no fight back at all. There's no junk time goals. There's nothing from West Coast. Uh, and poor they Tim are... Kelly. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Tim Kelly getting tagged while they get smashed by 100 points. <laughs> oh, oh, do you regret going to West Coast now, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, hey, he was never open to going to Fremantle and, nope. you know, You've got to be open to these things. Look at look at what you he gave up and basically I almost single handedly decimated a club of draft picks for a few years there. And look at what they Wait. need they needed draft picks. Oh. So now, when does his uh, contract run out? 
Oh, who knows? I can't remember. Like, few I, like if his contract runs out like a year or two, and like at the end of it, he like it's the middle of a derby. He just runs onto the field of his West Coast jersey and then rips it off. And there's a three o one underneath. It was like I was a <laughs> secret agent all along. It was me, Austin. <laughs> it was me all along. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Can I just read off the stats that I post on Instagram? Absolutely. <laughs> just with it. just with their, just with West Coast. So uh, their third lowest score ever, twenty six. Wow. Fuck me. And their fifth biggest loss ever. Uh, they're five and thirty six mm. since their buy round in twenty twenty one. So basically, they went from a final side in twenty twenty one to just falling out. And uh, they've been rock bottom ever since. And they've had five losses by over fifteen goals since that round, that buy round, twenty twenty one. Fifth goalless half, well, sorry, it was the, no, the seventh goalless half of footy in West Coast history. And the lowest oh, yeah. half ever, two behinds in that second half. And oh, let's get into injury talk. Jermaine Jones injured. He, he did his leg. <laughs> and I know Dom's so cheating. We're not laughing at the injuries. It's just the, the injury talk. It, we're notorious for talking about West Coast injuries. So just to clarify. Yeah, not but, laughing yeah. at the injuries. I'm not laughing at Jermaine Jones. I'm laughing with Jermaine Jones, but he's not laughing at all, unfortunately. Uh, so oh, another right. another one bites the dust for for West Coast, and it's not in a mean way. It's just they cannot catch a break. We've said it for weeks. All right. All right. Oh, I, I, I'm just going to say one last thing before we go into the the next match. Um, I'm not going to do it this week. Maybe the next week or the week after. Who knows? But I'm going to have a serious look at, like, their playing list and what they should do in the off-season because if something serious isn't done and a list overturn needs to happen, they're going to be cellar dwellers for the next six years. Well, That's my big call. Get prepared, West Coast fans. You're going to love hearing a Frio fan tell you what to do with your list. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they're going to love that. But to be fair, like we always say with this podcast, I actually can't wait for that because, again, we have a WA perspective, something that you know, you ne- I just never thought we'd have the complete perspective of. So going to be interesting to hear what you think they can do with their list.